Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 553, Low Testosterone Found to Result in More Severe COVID Infections. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating the symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin and Brett Newcomb are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, a book that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today I have Dr. Rachel Sullivan, my daughter and partner at BioBalance Health, speaking with us about a new study that's very exciting for us and very interesting because... This study showed us what we expected during the, the COVID pandemic, and that was at the University of uh, Washington, Washington University, University, University in St. Louis, in St. Louis, where we live. Yeah, is uh, they had a study where they looked at testosterone levels in those people, in those men. They didn't test women, in those people who were uh, very sick with COVID, and they compared them to people who were not very sick with COVID, and they found that men had a very low testosterone. Those that had that were very sick, and those that had a higher level of testosterone were not as sick from COVID. Right. And that is what we expected, because we have a practice where we replace testosterone and bring people up to normal, young, healthy levels. And what did we see? Uh, well, with our with our patients, yeah. we see as well, um, patients who have, are higher, like more... Uh, normal or when we're younger, when we have more um, optimal testosterone mm-hmm. levels, it's uh, we do have a better immune system. So mm-hmm. our thymus is actually you, stimulated. They stimulate it. It's mm-hmm. like brought back to life. And it can help increase things in our immune system that will actually help us fight virus and bacteria, viral and bacterial infections. You know, they uh, the thymus is responsible for what you hear about in AIDS patients. They don't have any T killer cells and T helper cells. Mm-hmm. So they get sick all the time. And if they're if they're if it's an active infection, they get sick all the time, or they get cancer mm-hmm. because they lack these very important T killer and helper cells, and those come from your thymus, which is right behind your breastbone, okay. and it is very large when you're a baby, and it shrinks as you get older. So it is one of the reasons why we get sicker, and we get cancers, and we get get sicker with a particular infection as we get older. Mm-hmm. Well, testosterone can reverse all that. And it can make the thymus active again and bring back your T helper and T killer cells. So because of that one fact, we see our patients have fewer uh, viruses, fewer bacterial infections, fewer cancers. It's not that they don't have any. Right. But they're fewer. And they don't have more um, autoimmune uh, problems either because testosterone is a modulator. If, If your thymus is putting out cells that are misdirected, it decreases them. If they don't have, if you don't have enough T cells, it brings them up to normal. So how does it know? I don't know that. But testosterone <laughs> does it. And it does it for both men and women. So we found yeah. our patients were healthier. I exactly. mean, during the pandemic. Yeah. And actually prior to the pandemic, um, we have on our questionnaire, um, do you feel like you have poor immunity? And so we have patients that say, oh my gosh, I have kids in grade school, or I have grandkids, and gosh, every single time they have a runny nose, I'm mm-hmm. sick for a week or two. Mm-hmm. Or I get the flu every single year, no matter what I do. Mm-hmm. And we have, and when we replace them with testosterone, or give them testosterone replacement, we ask them that question. We say, you know, do you feel like you got sick, you've been sick less than usual? Oh, and every, almost, actually, every patient except I think maybe two, which I've seen a lot of patients, mm-hmm. um, have said absolutely, and the pe- the two people said I got sick as frequently, but it did not last as long and was not as severe. So when COVID, um, when the pandemic started, we had that inkling, but you can't, you know, you don't want to go out there and just shout that from the rooftops without any research. Luckily, mm-hmm. we had Washu, the Washu did the research for mm-hmm. us, uh, mm-hmm. and we did see that with our patients. Mm-hmm. Um, 
we have had patients. We're not going to say nobody had COVID because that would no, be we had that would be a lie. Um, lots of patients who've mm-hmm. gotten the virus um, lo- lower than the national average, and we had not um, not have had, had any deaths from COVID either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we've Which had some great. a few patients that were sick for a long time. Mm-hmm. There are some other factors that have to do with getting sick with COVID other mm-hmm. than just your immune system. Right. Some uh, has has to do with whether you have diabetes or not. Now. Mm-hmm. People with uh, testosterone, usually our patients, we treat for prediabetes. We try to get them to not mm-hmm. have diabetes anymore. But mm-hmm. also testosterone helps with how uh, your body reacts to insulin. And so it makes you less insulin resistant, meaning less pre-diabetic. So it does mm-hmm. help in that way as well. A research article just came out on that mm-hmm. today, <laughs> actually, that said patients with lower testosterone levels were at higher risk of type 2 diabetes. Mm-hmm. And so we're seeing that as well. Patients with higher or optimal testosterone levels have better blood sugars and lower risks and uh, lower rates of diabetes as well, which is very uh, great. It's, yeah, it's reassuring. It's awesome. And it documents, you know, when you see something clinically and you watch it and you watch the people, all of our patients, as they're going through this process of going from not not well to well and and robust thriving because they've got their testosterone back and because we've helped them with many other areas of their life as well Mm -hmm. um pre-diabetes that kind of thing yeah uh when you watch them you see that certain diseases get better that you didn't even know would get better like migraines get better and um autoimmune diseases tend to become less severe on testosterone, and then we wait for the studies. <laughs> yes, I mean we we can find studies that are old or not recent, but and not and exactly, European studies. Yeah, Lots not of in the U.S. Studies. But there's a lot of European studies that say that. But we need U.S. studies for it to be believed. I don't know why. And uh, I mean, you have to get that mainstream media on your sense. side. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't make yeah. any sense mm-hmm. to me because most of us are from Europe, but not. I mean. Most of our ancestors are people from Europe. Yeah. So in any case, we wait for the studies to come through. And when this study came through the, um, in May 2021, because I know that this will be on, on air for a long time, when, mm-hmm. that, when the study came through, we, we were reading through it going, wow, this is great, this mm-hmm. is great. They just didn't test women. And, and that's because in mainstream medicine, they still don't believe that we have testosterone when we have three times as much testosterone mm-hmm. as estradiol when we're young and healthy and, and fertile. Mm-hmm. So that's it's the that's secret the problem. It's, it's the a secret, secret female hormone. hormone. Maybe there's a book about that on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, maybe there is, but that, it's still a secret, obviously, because they did. That's not something that they went into that in the, in women. They did test women, but they were testing for estrogen. So yes. that, that mm-hmm. is not, estrogen is not a stimulator for your immune system. Mm-hmm. It's still a good hormone, but that's not one of the things it does. Right. right. So th- this is, I hate to, I hate to say, this makes me very happy mm-hmm. because when you see it, but you haven't read it in black and white from a study from a right. great university, then you keep saying, well, I see it in my practice, but now we have something to back Stand our, on. yeah, back our uh, observations. On. Right. Now, um, when we talk about testosterone replacement in our patients, it's not like you just walk in and get pellets and leave. Um, <laughs> we obviously talk to you about a lot of things. So it's not just testosterone, it's a lifestyle. So it is talking about its education on diet and exercise and having that testosterone gives you the motivation to make those changes. Mm-hmm. And so we do make a lot of changes otherwise. Um, but it is very interesting with this study because the men, um, in the men in the study had low testosterone, total testosterone levels. They were over, um, the people who had higher risk of more severe COVID infections um, had lower testosterone, they had higher blood sugars, they had higher BMIs and higher weights, so they were more likely overweight or obese, mm-hmm. uh, and they just had typically, um, it's kind of like a trifecta of poor health uh, mm-hmm. that led to more severe problems. Now, the big thing they saw across the board was low testosterone, but those other comorbidities do jump in, and as um, we have seen with the research with COVID-19, mm-hmm. it's not just, um, in viruses in general, it's not just one thing. Mm-hmm. It's usually more than one mm-hmm. comorbidity. Mm-hmm. But the one in this study, what it showed across the board, no matter what the other comorbidities mm-hmm. were, the one thing that rang true across the board was low testosterone, which, like we were saying, I mean, it's just incredible to see um, 
in a study, what we've always um, been kind of seeing, obviously with a lower, smaller population, we're only two people. Um, yeah, but, but we have thousands of patients, but, actually, who yeah, have been treated. But, you know, it's, and I also have we don't to have say, a research, we don't have somebody doing just research right. on staff either. Uh, we don't, the other thing is that we have, um, we are only using testosterone pellets. This is, for us, replacement mm -hmm. to bring your testosterone up is not equal the patches aren't equal to creams that aren't equal. Nothing is really Shots. equal to pellets. Pellets are exactly what you used to make when you were younger, and we give it back exactly with the same type of hormone, and it goes directly into your bloodstream, so it doesn't go through your skin and make estrogen or go through your stomach and make liver. estrone and liver, make estrone and make a lot of other byproducts before it gets to your cells. So it's a specific kind of testosterone treatment mm -hmm. that we have used to see these results. So I don't want to say it's all, all testosterone. testosterone and don't and that. there was a study in the recent journal of um, endocrinology and metabolism that actually admitted <laughs> that it does matter what type of delivery system you take, mm -hmm. and it does matter whether it's bioidentical or not, and it does matter uh, how often you take it, or like pellets take one big thing off, off the table. I know you got the dose you got. I don't have to wonder, did you take it in the morning? Did you take it at night? Did you did you forget it for a week? Mm -hmm. did, you know, there's none of that. Uh, there's no uh, did you operator. in the same place every single day instead <laughs> of moving no it around. There's no operator error. Exactly. Did you sweat more and absorb more or not as much because mm -hmm. you were cold? I mean, there's so many variables with the other types of testosterone that this takes away all of that. So mm -hmm. so when we see things, it's a lot more uniform. We have a uniform testosterone mm -hmm. delivery system. So when we're saying this, that's what we're saying. We're saying our system kept our patients very healthy during COVID. And not that they didn't get it, because I think they're now showing there's a lot of genetics involved in mm -hmm. whether you're at risk for it or you're not at risk and how severe it'll be. Mm -hmm. But the testosterone helps uh, kind of decrease the effects of your genetics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I think the big takeaway here, too obviously, eat healthy, exercise, sunshine, and fresh air <laughs> are great for your immune system. Mm -hmm. Whole foods, so like whole vegetables, whole fruits, real meat, um, mm -hmm. all of these things, putting the best things in whole our milk. body. Yeah. I <laughs> yes. mean, whole milk, whole cheese. I mean, everything just... that is real and is the less processing you do in the food. And the more real sunshine, the more real outside exercise that you get, the better we're going to be. Um, the less screen time, the less, as I say that as you're watching a screen, but um, <laughs> the less screen time, the less blue light, the more we're, the more we're just living in this na as natural of a world as we can get, plus having all of our hormones ba uh, balanced, uh, all of these things, and obviously, and washing our hands, uh, obviously, you know, you don't have to do it all the time, but, you know, washing your hands. <laughs> Uh, after you touch another person, washing your hands after or before you eat or drink, mm -hmm. all of those things would be positive. Uh, but all these things together, and that's why Doctor Sullivan thought that maybe men got it more, <laughs> got a worse, a worse case like of don't... COVID because they didn't wash their hands as much. But you know, I feel like men don't wash their hands as much. Prove me wrong. Tell <laughs> tell me you wash your hands more than your per, your significant other or your brother, you know, or your sister or whatever. But I but. <laughs> Thanks we're, for changing, me we're changing um, the diaper. Not, I'm, I don't mean to be no. female, <laughs> a feminist, but no, we but have to it's true. Uh, but I really do think you know it's it is not just one thing. It is a myriad of things, and it is very important for us to not just look at run tour. You know, testosterone is great, and it really we do see. I mean, ninety seven percent success rate in mm -hmm. our patients. We see improved quality of life, improved health improved muscle mass, improved energy. We see all these wonderful things. Obviously, improved sex drive um, and weight loss and improved pleasure. We see a lot of things with our we patients. prevent divorce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the really big thing here is it's not just this one thing. It is everything with that together that is going to live, um, give, have us live like very long, healthy lives. And uh, it just doesn't get talked about um, enough um, in, you know, the world. Um, in the world just, of medicine, in either. the world of medicine, eating real healthy foods, you know, drinking wa plain water uh, mm -hmm. is understated frequently. <laughs> uh, really, easy stuff. Really, really. It simple, doesn't cost a lot. Exactly. Simple, easy, free things. 
um, and keeping your testosterone levels up mm -hmm. are really going to be your keys to success uh, in life and with your immune system. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that can you tell my do you feel that yeah my do yeah, showing she's hurt, I'm yes. doing all my preventative she's work. <laughs> yeah, holistic. holistic. <laughs> and I'm learning. You know, I'm I've always been You're holistic, doing... but I I wasn't trained that way. I'm kind of swimming upstream. No, you you do a fabulous <laughs> job. I learned almost all of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Um, so, thank you for joining us today. We hope that this added to your information, and if you're taking testosterone, we hope that this made you much more comfortable about uh, being immune to the next virus that shows up improving your immune and immune. improving your immune system for everything. So, we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us this week. Bye. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.